Hey guys, it's Jonathan from MTG I Need Help. I might sound a little bit sick. That's because I am sick. It's a good time. Just throwing that out there. Uh, today, I'm going to be talking about a good old-fashioned standard deck. Uh, I've been trying to put this out for probably like three months now. So, enough is enough. I'm going to do it. This is the time. Alright, anyways, first off, let's talk about the creatures. The creatures, we have a bunch of them. We have 29. Uh, so, first off, we're going to talk about Gore Clan Rampager. Gore Clan Rampager is going to be for the Blood Rush, slash, going to be for just putting out a 4 4 for 4, which is a very good idea. It's a very good card. Um, just because of its versatility. Next up is Arbor Colossus. Arbor Colossus is going to be a 3 of in the main deck, and it is going to be crucial for the Nykthos Shrine to Nyx. It is a very important card. Um, next off, next off, I should say, we have Pelucranos, the World Eater. Uh, that is going to be a 3 of. Uh, just because of his ability is freaking awesome whenever you go, he goes monstrous. Just dealing that much damage to other people's creatures, that can just devastate them. Um, over the week, uh, on Friday, actually, the person I was playing against, he decimated my whole side of my board with a Pelucranos. He did, I think he put 43, f no... Yeah, it was a 43-43 Pelucranos, which is freaking insane, but very good play by him. Um, oof, that game was annoying, but anyways, we're going to go into the next one. It is going to be a 4 of Burning Tree Emissary. This is going to be important once again to the Shrine to Nyx. Um, then we have Sylvan Carotid. We have that uh, as a 3 of. Uh, it's very good, and you're going to see in the sideboard, I added in a special item just because of the Sylvan Keratid. Uh, we have Voyaging Seder. This is another crucial element to the Shrine to Nyx, but it's not as, like, if you don't get it, it's fine. If you get it, it's even better. Uh, next off, we have four, or sorry, three Elvish, Elvish Mystics. Elvish Mystics are very good one drop, just uh, going to excel that mana as much as possible. Next off we have two Miscutter Hydras. This is just for the anti-control, um, and Miscutter Hydras are just very good creatures. Uh, next off we have three Xenagos God of Revel, or Revels. Um, it is going to be a very key element to two other cards. Um, the deck is kind of set up as a one turn kill. This is one of my favorite things to do is just in one turn do an ultimate and just kill them. Um, so with that we have our spells. We have uh, five spells in the deck. We have uh, Mizium Mortar just in case there's just a uh, whole bunch of small little dudes that you need to take care of. There's going to be more in the sideboard, but I just wanted to have one just in case uh, the main game um, or the first game, it, things get a little bit out of control. Next off, we have part of the combo in the one turn kill, and that is Armed and Dangerous. Armed is going to be very important to put on Arbor Colossus, especially if it is monstrous because right there, that is 20 damage. Um, then, if you have a Xenagos in play, it could be even more. Um, then, the dangerous part is all creatures must block another creature. So you just put that on, like, oh no, a Burning Tree Emissary, for example, and you make everything block that while well, your Ar Arbor Colossus just rolls in there and just smashes their face in. Next off is the other key element to the one-turn kill, and that is Flesh and Blood. 
uh, with Xenagos again, that's going to just make it go insane and probably do 20 damage in a single turn. Um, it's just trying to get up to that point of uh, being that far along. That's the problem with this deck. Um, next off, we have Nykthos. Sh or, sorry, I should talk about the other spells. We have four Domi Raids or Domri Raids. They are a very key element to this deck. This deck has 29 creatures in it, which is very good um, because, well, 29 creatures is going to allow it to be almost 50% of the time you are going to be able to do the plus one and get a creature into your hand. Uh, next off, we have Shrine to Nyx. Shrine to Nyx is going to be uh, very good for, uh, you know, you know. <laughs> uh, Shrine to Nyx is very good with Arbor Colossus. It's going to excel, excel your mana so much more. Then we have four, or sorry, we have four of Shrine to Nyx. Uh, we have four of Stomping Grounds, another key element to this deck. Um, just because you want to be able to get into the mana as quickly as possible. Um, next, we have Temple of Abandon. We have four of those. This is going to help you get into uh, Domri Raid or just another creature or spell that you really need in your hand at that time. So let's say you don't have you have enough forests or mountains or Shrine to Nyx or something like that. You can just put that at the bottom and then. Um, go on to uh, the next card and hope that it's a creature that you need. Uh, then we have four of forests and four of mountains. Uh, for the sideboard we have a single Arbor Colossus. This is just in case they have a lot of flying creatures or uh, you just need to get that little bit more of a punch in there. Um, Next off, we have some a single Miscutter Hydra. That's just in case there's uh, more control than you anticipate for. Actually, no, there should be two Miscutter Hydras in the sideboard. Sorry, the deck list I'm looking at is uh, not showing that. Uh, next off, we have three Fade into Antiquities. This is going to be very important for God Hate or just... Um, detention spheres as well especially if they take your domery raid that's going to be very crucial for you to get that back um and the gods are just really annoying to deal with so it's i i i would just rather deal with the gods in that way next off we have a scavenging ooze scavenging ooze is very nice card it's going to gain you some health um, sorry, we have two of those in the sideboard. Um, it's going to gain you some health, and um, with two of them in your uh, sideboard, uh, you can add those two into your deck, and if you draw into one, you're probably not going to draw another one, so they're not going to conflict with each other. Next off, we have three Mizium Mortars. Just in case there is such craziness from the other side, and they have just a whole bunch of small creatures then you can just take this and hopefully excel into it as quickly as possible and just take care of all of those small annoying creatures next off is the sylvan carotid just for the cases of them um well it's just in case you need a dread boar that is going to be the other card that's going to be extra into the deck that's black red it is very good um i ha was playing on friday and kiora was just being so annoying and dreadbore is just an answer to that um and he ha also had a group too Gr i killed the first group then he got another group down and i i was just it ended me pretty much so i needed a way to uh, get through his creatures. He had a bunch of small creatures. I had Mizium Mortars in my deck too, but I just couldn't get them in my hand, so I was kind of screwed over. Um, lastly, we have 
the last uh, Xenagos. This is just in case you want to get that extra oomph in the deck. Um, and make sure that you get a Xenagos in your hand at some point during the game that you're playing. Anyways, guys, I hope you like this video. So, hopefully you can uh, share this around. Like, I wanted to build this deck because I really, really like one-turn kills. And this is a perfect one-turn kill deck. It uh, is... It's only four cards in the deck that do this, but still, I think it should be fun. I haven't played it as of yet. I'm going to build this probably for next Friday night, and hopefully I can tell you about it and see how it goes. Anyways, guys, thank you so much for watching, and have an epic day. Thanks, guys. Bye.